St. Joseph's College was founded in 1880 by Bishop Bernard O'Reilly to be the seminary serving the northwest of England. The college was formally opened in 1883 and was situated in Walthew Park, Up Holland, the geographic center of the Diocese of Liverpool. The first junior seminary of the diocese was founded at St. Edward's College in 1842 as a Catholic classical and commercial school under the direction of the secular clergy and was established in Domingo House, a mansion in Everton. Its president for the next 40 years was to be Monsignor Provost John Henry Fisher. When the junior seminarians moved to St. Joseph's in 1920 the school was taken over by the Christian Brothers, who also ran St. John Rigby College in nearby Oral, and continues to this day and now serves as the Liverpool Cathedral Choir School. In recognition of the heritage owed to St. Edward's College one of the two chapels at Up Holland was consecrated as the Street Edward the Confessor Chapel. St. Joseph's, usually referred to by its students simply as Up Holland, was one of two main seminaries serving the north of England. Up Holland served the northwest, Ushaw College the northeast. For many years, each of these institutions housed both a junior, minor, and a senior, major, seminary. The junior seminaries provided a secondary education in a semi-monastic environment to boys aged 11 to 18 who wished to pursue the priesthood, while the senior seminaries trained adult candidates, mostly aged between 18 and 24, in philosophy and theology as they prepared for the priesthood. A detailed account of daily life in the junior seminary at Up Holland during the 1960s was published in 2012. This account also explores the reasons why the church's traditional form of seminary training may have predisposed certain priests to molest children, which was one of the key findings of a major investigation conducted on behalf of American bishops into the causes of the sexual abuse crisis within the U.S. Catholic Church. Although Up Holland flourished until the 1960s, the rapidly changing social climate in the decade led to a sharp drop in enrollment. In the early 1970s, the Northern Bishops decided to consolidate the activities of Up Holland and Usha. From 1972, all junior seminarians in the North attended Up Holland, and from 1975, all senior seminarians attended Usha. Even as the sole junior seminary for the North of England, however, Up Holland continued to suffer a decline in enrollment and by the 1980s was no longer a traditional seminary but a boarding school for boys considering a vocation. In 1986 the total number of students was down to 82, of whom only 54 were church students, and it was no longer viable to educate them on the premises. From 1987 the remaining students attended St. John Rigby College in nearby Oral for their schooling, an arrangement that continued until the very last of these students left up Holland in 1992. In the meantime, Following the move of the senior seminary to Usha, in 1976 the former senior seminary rooms had become home to the Up Holland Northern Institute, UNI, with Fr. Kevin Kelly as its first director. He was succeeded in 1980 by Fr. Vincent Nichols, now Archbishop of Westminster. Later the college buildings were used more generally as a retreat and conference center for the Archdiocese under the leadership of Messenger John Devine. The election of Archbishop Patrick Kelly saw the controversial decision to close St. Joseph's altogether and the property was sold to Anglo International who instructed AEW architects for the conversion of the grade 2 listed RC seminary to 92 apartments, with 220 new build enabling units. The major controversies of the decision were the ongoing financial viability of St. Joseph's, it had just started to make a small surplus under Devine's management, and the sale and disposal of the art and artifacts in the college, much of which had been donated by various parishes and people of the archdiocese who were not offered their donations back. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.